Hi, I'm Mark from Sharkbait here. Uh, today is going to be a, a, probably our briefest video with a little bit of luck. You know, and it's a public service announcement. You know, for any of us that enjoy saltwater fishing or freshwater fishing or any sort of outdoor activity, you know, you know we always hear about using the sunscreen if you're going to be exposed to the sun for more than 30 minutes, you know, whatever, whatever. The reality is it's the last thing we think about you know, when we're out fishing but it probably should be the first. And if we address it first thing in the morning when we get up and get ready to go out there, you know, really it, it's gonna lead to a much longer <laughs> period you can be out and more enjoyment when you're on the water. As we get older, you know, our largest organ of the body, which is our skin, it takes a beating out there and gets weathered. You know, sunlight is a real issue, especially for those of us with fairer skin and being a purebred white guy without a whole lot of hair on the top of his head, you know, I've, I've dealt with a lot of sun over the years. You know, my first you know, problems probably started up, geez, you know, would have been in my late uh, mid-30s or so. I remember fishing out in the lake in Texas and it was a real hot summer day and I just stayed out longer than I should and I remembered getting a blister on the top of my head. You know, I guess it was still a little sparse even though I was probably only 30 or so. You know, and, you know, I didn't think much of it. It took it a while to heal. You know, you know years went by. You know, I was getting haircuts back in those days, not doing it myself. And I remember this gal that cut my hair noticed and she said, you know, you ought to have that checked. You know, last time you were in, that was just, you had a scab on it and it's off it now. And, I, you know, she said she remembered it, you know, two or three times. It just didn't heal upright. And that's a good indicator you've got an issue with your skin. You know, if something doesn't heal up right, it's worth having it checked out. You know, there, there are people that you know, suddenly die you know, from a skin cancer. You know, it happens quickly. Um, you know, we don't notice it you know, until it's too late. So, you know, it is a consideration. You know, and I, I got to say, that gal you know, cost me some skin, but, but you know, probably did you know, much of benefit for me. I went to a dermatologist after that, and he went ahead and, you know, cut down to the bone and, ripped off some skin and since that time I've made it a point every year or so I'll go back in and get cut and scraped, burnt, frozen, you know, whatever, yeah, on areas that I let go. And if I had addressed it earlier uh, with sunscreen, yeah, maybe it'd be less of an issue, but I'll be darned, you know, when I put that sunscreen on my forehead and stuff, it would you know, get into my eyes invariably, you know, sweat tends to go down, you know, gravity has an effect. And I get that crap in my eyes, and I, I couldn't see. It just blinded. You know, so I went to a trade show. Uh, I cast. It must have been 15 years ago now. And I found a product. You know, and for the demo, the fellow put the stuff in his eye, and I'll be darned. You know, I did the same thing, and I'll be darned. I didn't have an issue. You know, it didn't cause me to tear up. So, you know, we're going to talk about this product a little bit you know, this morning. I'll give it five minutes and I'll try and show you why it's unique and what's so good about it uh, and why. Not too hard. The product I'm talking about is the Soul uh, sunscreen, and they do a number of different little configurations of the product. I keep one of these just with a little carabiner clip it comes with you know, right in my tackle box you know, so I can put it on. But the reality is I put this stuff on in the morning, you know, first thing I get up. They also have you know, the stick type, which is like a, you know, it looks like it's a giant chapstick, but it's not. It's the, the active material or active ingredient of this product in a stick form. So it's easy just to kind of you know, put it on uh, troublesome areas. And they do a chapstick that has the same sort of product to it. And, and, you know, this is maybe less of a big deal, but they do a little aloe and a bump. It's a convenient thing to stick in your, you know, travel kit. But this product is quite good. There we got a little dab on my finger. Now I'm going to put this thing straight on my eyelid. Okay, and my eye is officially splattered up. What the heck? Let's get it on the other one too. Now you can see I've got this stuff definitely on my eyes, on my forehead, all over the second place. And it does leave a little bit of a color. Now that's the white of the zinc oxide, and it uses micro particles of zinc oxide. Yeah, and just like, you know, this um, old surfer guys might put on their nose and it stays white. Well, it's, it's doing something, but these are microparticles and actually, after a little bit, that rubs in and 
you really have a hard time telling it's there, although you will have a little bit of a chipmunk effect from it. You know, but as you can see, my eyes still work. You know, pretty amazing stuff. So why? Why does this stuff work? And why doesn't it make you tear up? A couple of reasons. You know, this stuff is made out of, you know, the active ingredient certainly is you know, that zinc oxide. And that's a big part of it. And this also uses little microparticles of quartz. So it's, that's about it. It's quartzite, uh, which is kind of a clear you know, uh, mineral. You, know, you can see quartz crystal rocks and that sort of thing. That's a little microparticle as well. They use both. And it's not water soluble. That's why the stuff doesn't get mixed up with your sweat. It sweat off your face. It stays where it belongs through the court. Okay. We've got three little cups. Let's put some water in each one. Okay, each one has about the same amount of water. And we'll use three different sunscreens. So we'll put the salt in the middle. Banana boat, parrot head, whatever you want to call it. We use the Neutrogena, that's a higher end product, a good product. Okay, it doesn't seem to mix real well. Milky. So, some more. Doesn't want to mix. Mix some Neutrogena. Some more. See again, Milky? That's why this stuff is so doggone good. It doesn't mix with water. It's not water soluble. That's the whole key to the stuff staying on your stinking face. You know, it lasts all day. It doesn't sweat off you. Okay, I'm still not teared up, you know, but that's the science behind it. it zinc oxide and the quartz crystals, <laughs> um, microparticles, so very, very tiny. The stuff does run in or, or rub in, uh, but you'll still have a little bit of a, a lighter glow you know, to your mug. Um, and it works. It doesn't mix with water. It doesn't mix with the salt water. It doesn't mix with your sweat. It stays on your skin all day long, and it prevents sunburn. You know. You know, you can't get a better sunscreen than that, you know, and it's, you know, it's kind of a silly thing for us to be selling and spending time on a, uh, you know, YouTube channel showing, but, you know, I'll be darned, you can go into the market or a drugstore or whatever, and everything they've got isn't geared for what we do as fishermen. You know, this stuff was invented by a fellow, uh, a chemist, you know, out in Washington, you know, is where they are from, and it's a hell of a product, you know, well worth buying. You know, whether you're getting it from us or somebody else. You know, but, you know, brought it to you first, probably 10, 15 years ago. You know, and it's still, it's the only sunscreen that we really put the money in and half of our shops, and we have for years. Soul sunscreen, wonderful product, you know, well worth the bucks. You know, buy some, use it, and, you know, don't feed the dermatologist you know, annually you know, or go through the hassle and discomfort and scabbing and all that stuff from getting little little precancerous areas you know burnt off your body thanks for watching yeah mark out maybe more coming bye, -bye.